Uh, Will Rogers finished tonight with a 92% completion percentage. What was your opinion on his performance? Uh, I didn't realize it was 92% till we got back in the locker room, but uh, I thought he played well. I thought I thought he really uh, did a good job seeing the field. I thought he did a good job uh, checking and <clears throat> on the plays that uh, you know that he is in a position to check. Uh, <coughs> and then we had kind of a slow start, but I thought we picked it up, and I thought he did a good job elevating that. Also, our defense getting turnovers and stops I thought was key. Go to Steve and Robbie. Coach, uh, a few protection issues in the first half, but it seemed like second half you kind of shut those things down. What kind of adjustments did you make? Uh, really, there wasn't much to it. There was miscommunication, I would say, and then uh, I can't remember them exactly. One was definitely miscommunication. Um, <clears throat> I don't remember a lot of them. One, he held the ball, thought he should have thrown it. Uh, that's all I can remember. Robbie? Hey, Coach. Uh, Kentucky's a team that really likes to establish the run, and they've been good on the line of scrimmage. 66 yards rushing for them today. They actually outgained them 94 to 66, and pretty balanced uh, offensively. How did you feel about how, what y'all were able to do on the ground today and also <coughs> defensively stopping the run? Well, I, I, you know, our defense was real active up front, knew, and we felt like it was important to, um, <clears throat> you know, affect the line of scrimmage on defense because you got to wreck the running lanes and make them bubble instead of just run straight ahead. And then you – and we wanted to affect the quarterback. And I thought those defensive linemen did both of those things. Uh, then on offense, we, uh, uh, you know, first of all, they're tough to run against. They've been tough to run against, but also, um, <clears throat> you know, we knew that they like to drop people too. So we felt like we, you know, had to take advantage of both. And I think that uh, uh, Will and those guys did it. Well, first of all, we protected him well. That was key. That was a very big key. Then the second thing um, <clears throat> was as we were successful on some key downs, uh, that put us in a position where, um, <clears throat> you know, we got them coming and going a little bit, I felt like. And uh, and I thought, you know, I thought it was uh, – it turned out pretty good. If they put too many men up, uh, we are good at uh, taking advantage of it uh, behind them and vice versa. John and Theo. Mike, you, you kind of mentioned it uh, a little bit earlier, but you guys were down 10 nothing, and then you dominated the rest of the way. Did you say anything like, after that first quarter to your team? And what was kind of the biggest adjustment that you saw that allowed you guys to dominate this uh, 12th ranked team the rest of the way from that moment on? Well, we moved the ball good from the start, and so we felt like we could move the ball, kind of shot ourselves in the foot, uh, should have had a field goal, you know, all that stuff. And then, um, you know, defensively, we'd done a pretty good job because, you know, that seven points was from a punt return. And uh, so, you know, everything was right there for us. Uh, we just had to finish the drives offensively and defensively. And so uh, I guess that's a long way of saying we kept doing what we were already doing. Uh, Jalen getting that pick before the half, how much did that contribute to setting the tone in the third quarter like you guys were able to do? Um, uh, I, lose, I lose track. Uh, oh, I, yeah, I thought, I thought that was good for sure. Um, I wondered if it was a touchback, but um, no, I, I thought it was huge, you know. I thought uh, we did a good job getting turnovers and a good job protecting the football. Yeah. <clears throat> Following up on that, with the secondary, you guys are without Fred Peters today. Mark, you lose Martin three plays into the game. What did you see kind of from that unit, specifically for maybe Sean Preston, Cameron Richardson to kind of step up and help? I thought they did good. You know, I thought they ran to the ball good. I thought they did a good job hawking it down, and uh, I thought they played good. I, th <clears throat> I thought defensively we triggered and played together pretty well. No, I think it was huge. I think it was really huge. Uh, you know, Kentucky's kind of a team that's about control, you know, uh, <clears throat> controlling on offense and hogging the clock and then controlling on defense. Uh, <clears throat> nothing bad happens. You have to execute a lot of plays to move the ball against them. And 
Um, and that's, you know, and they, that's why they're where they're at is because they're, they're so good at controlling things. And, uh, you know, that uh, broke the control suddenly, which was important to us because, you know, we're a younger uh, explosive team. But, you know, uh, maintaining control is something that's uh, has been tricky for us a little <clears throat> a little bit, and that just that let us get it back. Steve and David. Coach, last year was a complete nightmare in Lexington with six interceptions, but tonight you had guys running wide open and your quarterback found them. What do you, what do you attribute the difference to this year compared to last year? Well, the receivers deserve some credit for improving. The biggest thing was protection, pass protection. Our offensive line uh, protected well. They, uh, <clears throat> they couldn't effectively pass rushes with uh, three guys. Uh, <clears throat> they needed four to five, and then we still protected well. And then that uh, makes them shorthanded on the back end, and uh, so pass protection. Most important position on the field and, uh, and uh, most important phase of the game, uh, certainly on offense, uh, you know, we improved there. And, uh, you know, last year's a really good example of why it is the most important uh, position. You mentioned Kentucky being a tough team to run on. Marks and Johnson seemed just to bring a little extra edge of physicality tonight. They were they were bouncing off tackles, making yards after contact. Did you think they could do that in this particular matchup? <clears throat> no, I didn't know. I hope they could. I didn't know that they could. Uh, they they did a pretty good job making people miss today. I thought they did a pretty good job making people miss uh, and getting getting yards after contact, and uh, maybe as well as they've done this year with regard to that. Steve talked about the Kentucky game last year. That was Will Rogers' first game. I mean, obviously you've seen him grow tremendously from that ball game. Just how much have you seen him grow from that point, the first game he's played in, to tonight whenever he breaks the SEC record for a completion percentage over 30-plus attempts? Oh, he did, huh? Yeah. Well, good. Um, yeah, try to get as many of those as we can. Um, uh, well, I thought, you know, what allowed him to play last year is he's a very composed guy and he's uh, not afraid to, to compete and uh, just real level-headed mentally. And then I think as he's assumed more of a uh, leadership role, just uh, partially by being older and being uh, the voice on offense for longer, uh, you know, then uh, I think it helps our our team be steadier and more uh, even tempered as well, which uh, is something that we definitely need. And <clears throat> um, uh, but then you know he keeps improving. He keep, you know I get everybody talks about you know somebody's going to be a great freshman quarterback. Well, you know what? There aren't any great freshman quarterbacks, and, and and some of them that we all remember that turned out to be great even had great NFL uh, careers. I mean. Uh, um, and try judging them by their freshman year. Uh, they might have been the starter, but I promise you, they, they, they were streaky, erratic, and not particularly good. Um, but, um, uh, you know, I think he's grown a lot and will continue to improve. <coughs> John, Mike, based on your experience, uh, I mean, do you think that this group – can kind of build off a win like this, beating this 12th ranked Kentucky team at home, and kind of what's the key to, to building on, on something like that? Uh, we we need to keep it in perspective. We need to uh, go back tomorrow. We need to you know be excited about this win, celebrate this win. But when we get in uh, tomorrow, we we gotta you know just be <clears throat> real honest with ourselves, watch the film, and see where we need to improve. And there'll be plenty of places to improve. And then. Uh, uh, and then we need to be dedicated to doing that, you know. Uh, Mark and Saw is a, a really good team, and, you know, we got to play really well in, or <clears throat> in order to beat those guys. <coughs> Coach, you mentioned protection. Some pre-snap penalties tonight, which has kind of been a little bit uncharacteristic. What, what would you see in there? Um, the, they were yelling at our – or they were simulating our snap count, you know. I mean uh, – uh, yeah, they were simulating our snap count, and uh, you know, folks can get away with that. We got to start coaching it, you know. <laughs>